feel like I'm being compared to someone else though. He said, there's no one else. Yeah, no, that's a huge part of it for sure. Um, I don't know if women are narcissists really exist or not. Cause they always say that it's men. No, there are women out there that are narcissists. A lot of times they get automatically grouped in the category of like BPD. Okay. So that's like a, a big piece of it. Okay. Uh, the challenge is a lifesaver. Awesome. Uh, I can't tell whether you're using him who you are that's in it, but I'm glad that you're in it. Ben, seriously, thank you for explaining the way a cluster B's mind works. It's so difficult to understand. Otherwise, you're exposing yourself for us, uh, the victims of value. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Both supplies knew of each other and are being told lies by narcissists, which becomes a contest. Yes, absolutely. That's a perfect way to be able to describe it. You described it better than I did. Okay, then. So to the new supply, what the narcissist does to them that you wanted shows they know what they could have done to make you happy. Noted. Yeah, absolutely. Can a narcissist... Can a narcissist only can settle with another narcissist since both knows how to play the game the same? No, a lot of, there's some narcissists that get together. I don't think they really last, okay? Uh, what makes them flip the switch on you? A lot of times it's the idea of like object relations, which is like black and white thinking. You're either all good or you're all bad. So like you held me accountable. So like, how dare you betray me like that? Therefore you're dead to me, okay? Like it, just, it flips that easy. Do narcissists know others are narcissists? A lot do, I would say. A lot do and either migrate towards because like it's the same type of personality. They flock together in one sense or sometimes they steer clear of like, I know this person and I know like there's this toxicity or this energy. So I'm going to focus on my stuff so I don't get called out or yelled at. Like there's different things like that. Okay. Internet dating is a perfect tool for a narcissist. Yeah. I would say so, but there's a lot of people that they meet in person that get stuck with a narcissist anyways. I have BPD and my husband's a narcissist. That sounds like a fun dynamic. Hope y'all are doing okay. Do they ever believe you love them? Why are they so insecure? A lot of that is because they're hiding from guilt and shame and they're trying to be able to hide it with the mask that they're actually putting up there. Uh, I wanted answers so bad. All right, this is a good one. I want to answer so bad why... Is there no closure? Why no answers? Why is there no closure? Okay. Now I'll tell you this loud and clear. This because you don't get closure from a narcissist. You don't. It doesn't happen. Anytime a narcissist is going to tell you, hey, I'm going to give you closure. Hey, let's talk for closure. It is just another ploy to be able to get you in their life a little bit longer, manipulate control and bring you back in and hoover you into the toxic relationship. You don't get closure from a narcissist. That's why a lot of people talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. That's why a lot of people watch the videos because they start to get pieces of closure of like, oh, I understand this now. Oh, I connect with this. You're not going to get closure from a narcissist because typically... Not, not always, not everybody, but typically when you are looking for closure, you are looking for the other person to acknowledge the shit that they did to you. The thing is, typically you're waiting for that and you're wanting that when you already know the truth. You do. Sometimes it's hidden. Sometimes it's, it's, it's underneath like multiple layers. Sometimes there's multiple lies and multiple stories that you're telling yourself that's trapping you in this trauma bond. But you don't get closure from a narcissist. You get closure from you. That's the only place clo true closure and true healing come from is you. It doesn't come from anybody else. It's the same reason why you can't fix a narcissist, same reason why I can't fix you, same reason why I'm here to lead and expand your frame and try to help you going through and wake you up in different aspects, tell you the truth, maybe to shock you at times of like, oh, this is what's going on. Because like all I can do is give you the tools to help you move forward in your healing, growth, change, and development, but that's on you. That closure piece is you coming to terms, radical acceptance, true honesty, vulnerability, is you coming to terms with the shit that happened. And you've been like, hey, I understand that this happened. And I understand regardless of how crazy they made me feel or they made me think that I was, I actually know the truth. I want you to think of this concept. Sometimes people struggle with it, that they want closure from another person to justify the things they already know and make them feel better about the truth that they just don't believe. Now, a lot of times, you know the truth, but it is hidden. It is hidden under the stories you tell yourself. And oftentimes it is hidden under the lies you believe. My purpose of being here to communicate this stuff, to run raw motivations, to produce videos every single day is to help wake you up to that fact. You see, you've been put through a lot 
You've been destroyed. You've been beaten down. You've been broken in so many ways. And you've been taught and trained over a period of time that you do not have the ability to make your own decisions, to go your own places, to buy the things that you want, to live the life that you want to live or the dreams that you used to have because that person has beaten down your confidence, your character, has taken away so many pieces of your self-worth and self-esteem, and you're left thinking that it can't happen, that you can't grow, that you can't change, that you can't heal. And I want to tell you that's a complete lie and utter bullshit from the narcissist. The change that you seek is the change that you exemplify, and you can all change and grow. I don't say that because I'm holding on to a pipe dream and I don't say that because I'm like believing, oh, this might happen. I'm saying it because I've walked with the people who have gone through this shit because I know from the other side because I have put people through this shit. You need to understand this. And I've walked with people through the fire with this and they are free. They're free from the trauma bond. They're moving forward. They're growing. They're glowing up. And says, I don't want to believe the truth. That's the problem. That's the problem. You see, when we talk about truth, there's two people that it affects a lot. One's the narcissist. And one's you. The difference is the narcissist is running away from the truth because it exposes their guilt and shame. And a lot of times the survivors are running away from the truth because it exposes hurt and pain. You won't heal if you run away from it. You won't. Radical acceptance sucks. Absolutely. But once you accept it, you're able to move through it, not away from it. I want you to think of this. When we're talking about radical acceptance, we're talking about how it sucks. We're talking about, I don't want to believe it. Think of this. You break your leg. And when you break your leg, you're laying on the ground, you're in pain, you're looking at it. You have two options. One of the options is you go to the hospital, you get your leg in a cast and you, and you heal and you start to work through it. The other option is like, eh, you know, I don't want to believe it is actually there. Let me continue to walk on it. And eventually it'll just work out. And then this is the part that like a lot of people don't like to hear. And then you wonder two years later of uh, why you're walking around with a limp and you're like, oh my gosh, this ruined me. You have the power to change you more than what you realize. And that first step is your honesty of what you have been through. Is that easy? Not at all. Is that fun? Not at all. Is that the only way to go through healing and actually come out healed and growing and changing your healing journey into a growth mindset? 100%. You have to accept the truth or you will never heal.